What's up guys, welcome back to the Educated Bar Play. Today we're gonna to be doing a Temperance Collins. It is a milk and honey drink. I don't know who exactly created this drink, but it was purportedly uh, Sasha Petrosky, the owner and uh, creator of Milk and Honey's favorite drink while he was abstaining from alcohol. Uh, I made a commitment to do a lot more alco non-alcoholic cocktails for you guys, and I wanna keep to that commitment. I think that it's important to do non-alcoholic cocktails because there are those people who just don't drink or there are those people who are taking January off or there are those bartenders who have been hitting it hard and they need to take a 15 day hiatus. Uh, and this is a really great one. This is going to be kind of like a spritz. Uh, it's gonna be very snappy, a little bit bitter, a little bit tart, nice little sugar pop in the finish. Um, that's all I really got to say about it. Let's get into it. So first thing we are going to do is half an ounce of simple syrup. And then we're gonna do one full ounce of fresh lime juice. And then two ounces of fresh grapefruit juice. I'm using Ruby Red. If you like the white variety of grapefruit juice, use that if you'd like. Um, you are gonna see that this is just a very, or you are now seeing, I guess, that this is a very simple cocktail, but what's great about milk and honey drinks is that they are all about precision. It is all about very precise measurements, very precise balance, and that is what made them so such a great bar and made, and made them so famous. Um, so we're just gonna add our ice to our tin. Give it a nice little lock. Put some ice in our glass with our hands. Mary's just looking at me with like a half smile in his face. Does it disgust you when I put my hands on the ice? I'm not drinking it. No, right, but there's so many people that call me out for the putting my hands on the ice business. They're like, is that how, somebody even actually once said, they said, do you guys not have ice scoops in, in America? I was like, no, we have ice scoops, but wouldn't it be kind of awkward to do an ice scoop in here? And at home. Huh? And at home. Yeah, and at home, like why would you do that? I just do it with my hands. All right, I'm gonna give it a nice shake. You don't really actually have to worry too much about dilution on this. So I brought this like double strainer out, but you don't even really need a double strainer. We're gonna be putting soda in it anyway. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of soda water to the bottom of the drink ahead of time. And then I'm gonna strain this in. And then top it off with a little more soda. Let's see how much Marius has learned since he's been watching me do this. Do you know why I put the bottom, the soda in the bottom of the drink first and then poured it over on top and then topped it off with more? Yes, so it mixes. Marius, look at you. I did forget something though. I thought, oh, finally, something, uh, an episode I didn't forget anything in, but it actually cut a, uh, a wedge of grapefruit for my, this is like the crappiest knife ever. I need to sharpen these knives, my friend. Ugh. Or maybe this is just the crappiest grapefruit. It's my last one though, so I'm gonna give it a nice little wedge here. Uh, and then we're gonna taste it first before we garnish it, because I'm gonna do a kind of a, what? Why are you smiling about? No, I'm... You are smiling a wicked smile. Why? Accidental. What? Accidental what? Smile. No, it wasn't. Yeah. You don't ever smile unless there's purpose behind it. All right, let's take a sip. Oh, yes. Mmm. Ah, oh, you just got the grapefruit right up front. You get a little bit of the tartness of the lime, but it is balanced out with a nice amount, not too much, of sugar. Uh, it is wonderful. This is so wonderful. And I, I gotta say that, you know, I topped this off with soda, but you could actually top it off with ginger beer if you like, or you could top it off with um, tonic. There's so many like awesome kind of craft tonics out there. Like you get yuzu tonic or East India tonic or all these different, you know, cucumber tonics and it would all work really well in here. You can kind of go crazy making a variation on this drink, but you know, just the regular tonic, lime, simple grapefruit. It is amazing how just fresh juice, a tiny bit of sugar, uh, some, and some bubbles, like it's just amazing how pleasing and wonderful that is. Oh, I could drink that all day, every day. There you have it. If you're at the bar, it's not a compromise anymore. You could get them to make you something wonderful that's awesome, and then you can still be the designated driver. Because if you don't drink, 
and go to the bar with your friends. That's what you're doing. All right, there it is. The Temperance Grapefruit Collins. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash barfly. Check out our apron sponsor, Stagger Lee Goods, which makes me look so good in these aprons. So check them out, uh, staggerlygoods.com. And if you want 20% off at checkout, just type in the code BARFLYSLG20 and you get 20% off everything in your cart. All right, guys, I hope you have, uh, you're having a wonderful uh, time and stuff and things. Marius is looking at me like, don't say a month or we're gonna have to release it now. Uh, I'm just gonna say, I hope you're having a wonderful week and I will see you on another time. What did you forget? Uh, oh, to top this back off and then garnish it? Oh, garnish it? Garnish it. Okay, fine, I'll garnish it. You're right, I did forget to garnish it. Here you go. Voila. Temperance Grapefruit Collins, does it look better now? Yes. It must, and it's all nice and foamy. There you have it. Oh, you want me to redo that? No. All right, cool. All right, guys, I'll see you. Now you know, now you see. You see that Marius also breaks balls. I will see you guys another time. Or was Marius doing something nice? I think I vote for nice. <laughs> you vote for nice, of course you would. All right, guys. See you later.